Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you guys how I take my designs from Design Space, save them to my computer, and then upload them into the Silhouette Studio free edition um, to make it big enough to print a full wrap on a 20 ounce straight sublimation tumbler. Um, you're going to want to download some things on your computer first, one being Silhouette Studio um, and the other being this. Uh, you want to go to bullzip.com and download this printer. Um, this is like a fake printer. It's free to download. Once you download that, we're going to go into Design Space. I have my image designed. I want to make sure that it's the 9.25 by 6.75 that Cricut allows for print then cut. Once you do that, you're going to come up and you're going to hit make it. You're going to come down and hit continue. Then you're going to come over and hit send to printer. Now you want to make sure that your bleed is turned off and you're going to go up to here, your printers, and you're going to find that bull zip PDF printer. Click on it and then click print. Now this isn't going to print. It's going to pop up a box to where it lets you save it. All right, so that box has popped up. Here you can name your, your uh, image. I'm going to name mine I Love Lucy. And then you're going to come up here where it says PDF. Click the drop down, and you're going to want to save this as a PNG file. Once you do that, then you're going to click Save, and you're going to give it a minute, and a box is going to pop up with your design in it. My computer is slow, so bear with me. All right. So now you have your design saved to your computer. Now I'm going to crop it because I want to get rid of the black line. So we're going to go up to Crop, and then we're going to crop all your white out. So I'm going to bring this in right to the edge of the image on all four sides. There we go. And then top and then bottom. And then you're going to come down to save a copy. Now this is going to let you save it. Save it wherever you want to in your computer and click save. You can exit out of that window. Now we're going to go to Silhouette Studio. Here we've got Silhouette Studio. I'm going to go to File, then Open, and then I'm going to find my image that I want to open. Now your image is in Silhouette Studio. Now you're going to come over here and you're going to want your paper to be at least 8.5 by 11. You're going to come over here to this little symbol and you're going to click on it. That'll bring up this. Sorry if it's a little blurry. Then you're gonna come up to this symbol and click. Make sure you right click or left click. All right, so this is gonna allow you to change the size of your image. Now, make sure that your image is clicked on like so. And then you're gonna come over here and the width is going to be 8.2, I'm going to put 8.2 and hit apply. And then I'm going to come down here to my height and do 9.3. And then you're going to hit apply. And actually, I'm going to correct myself. I do 8.25 on mine. Apply. So now your image is bigger. Now, if you look closely, you've got these little lines. This is your print line. So you're going to want to move this over and line it up like so for it to print. All right. So there you got your image in the size that you need for your Tumblr. Then you're going to come over to File, Print, make, and then what you click on whatever your sub printer is and hit Print and it should print out the size that you need for a full wrapped tumbler. I hope that helps somebody because um, it definitely helped me when I found out about it. Um, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.